So, I'm being sued by a bank. Uh, I got a summons. I think I might have a couple more days to respond. That's what I'm doing now, responding. response is that it's not real. The money is fake. The people that you represent because of fractional reserve banking They can create money out of thin air just by entering some numbers into a computer. They don't have to print it or anything like that. And you can watch it. You can watch how much this is. They have clocks of how much money the national debt is. That's just the national debt of this country. This is not the entire world. It's much, much bigger. So, if you watch that clock, in about a few seconds you'll see hundreds of thousands of dollars <sighs> just go by and what they've given me is not money it's not credit it's all debt and the more time I have it and the more time I hold on to it becomes more worthless and they can just make money if you could just make money at any time you could buy whatever you want you could buy all the power. I think it's not the point. Not only that, but because of fractional reserve banking, the more money they hold in reserves, so they create fake money, Create loans, people take the loans, they pay interest on the loans, they pay the money back to the bank with the interest, and they normally put the money for what they're using the things for in the bank, which becomes a reserve for the bank, which gets paid interest by the central banks, and where do the central banks get the money to pay that interest? is from you and all of us, the ones representing these people. And every day it gets harder and harder and harder. And it's everyone. It doesn't matter how much money you make. If you use money, you're getting fucked. That's all there is to it. It doesn't matter who you are or how much power if you think you have or what you think you know. You 
entire thing is a fraud. And just because they wear suits and ties and are polite to each other and have dinner parties and oh, I gave the fake charities, you know, do, I mean, really, if you can create money at any time and you give a charity, you're, well, wait, what? so what, I go get you some Monopoly money, it's the same thing. And just because they're like that and they claim to have ethics and rules and regulations and, and things like it's the same as a bank robber or a bunch of bank robbers running around saying they have ethics and standards and things like that. It's, it's all a robbery. It doesn't matter <laughs> how they're doing it, how they're dressed, how they're acting. And why? Why would you come after me if you could print money? $15,000. I don't even really think about that. Lawyers, paperwork, administration, you know, all the... All that effort and waste for, for that... It really doesn't, it, it's meaningless for you to even think you've incurred some type of loss. How? If you can pr make money at any time, how can you possibly have a loss? And the only reason why you come after people. Lawsuits and things. <laughs> it's to scare them. I'm not scared. I have no... I'm here to bring the end. Of time and money. They're the same thing. The only reason why we track time is for the money. The money, that little system, everything the way it's set up couldn't work without tracking time. And you may be lawyers, I mean, and you may be a judge, oh, whoever you are watching, and you say, oh, he's obviously crazy, there's something wrong. But you're going to know all this. I know that. And you don't think it's possible for truth will bring down your entire system because that's all it needs.
once you can see it, it's done. Everything must go. There's no sense in holding on. To the things you despise. I put my blood up. to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all.